Hello students. So today we are going to understand uh, how to find solution to the exact equations. Okay. So <clears throat> to understand that, what we are going to do is let me consider a family of curve f f of x comma y equal to c. Okay. And since it it is uh, okay family of curve and that can be written as total derivative of f is equal to zero, right? And we all know how to define total derivative. Del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy equal to zero, right? And see, what do you understand by this? Ordinarily, what you will be given? A differential equation of which form? this for and what you have to find this right now from this logic what we can do is we want to develop some sort of relation to which you can reverse engineer this okay so to do that what we say is if this function is a exact function or you can say uh, this uh, differential equation is exact, what will happen? Del 2 f by del x and del y, that means partial derivative of f of second order. Del f by del y del x, okay? By the way, this condition will be true for any function provided these derivatives exist first condition is and second this function is continuous right for the given range of you know for the given range of parameters that would be x and y for given range of x and y this function is continuous and exist i'm sorry this is not a shape rather exist okay now what you will be given? Okay, let's see. If uh, let me consider an example uh, through which. What do I mean by that? For example, if I give you y dx plus x dy equal to zero, right? So, <clears throat> through your experience and common sense, you can say that this is the derivative of this, right? Uh, x y, y dx plus x dy. And you can easily say by comparing df equal to zero that value of f is x y and what would be the solution of this uh, given differential equation? See, never consider this f as a solution. Okay, that is not the case. F equal to c some constant. This family of curve is a solution. Okay, so what I mean by that is x of x y equal to c. This is going to be the solution. So what you did to your experience and common sense, you found out the solution to this differential equation, right? But you cannot do this always, right? So these are easy differential equations. So you knew, okay, dxy is this. So you found, okay, f is zero. So we have to develop a methodology that enables you to, to find the solution of given differential equation provided it is exact, okay? So how do you define that differential equation is exact, okay? So I'm going to talk about that. So to define the exact differential equation, exact differential equation, okay, what you will be given? M dx plus N, dy by the way i'm being uh, short about it m is by the way m of x and y so i always uh, write this and is basically a function of x and y okay now this is what you will be given okay now say if it is an exact differential equation how will you check basically this was the clue if a function exists if a solution to this differential equation exists and it is an exact, so say uh, this solution, 
solution to this differential equation exists and it is exact form, right? So I'm just trying to define the exact by the way. Right now I'm assuming, but uh, you'll understand. So if the solution to above exact differential equation exists, so what you can write del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dy, right? And then you have df equal to zero and f of x, y is equal to c, right? How simple. But what you have, basically you have m equal to del f by del x. You have n is equal to del f by del y, right? But if you derive, uh, take a partial derivative of this with respect to y, what do you get? You get del to f upon del x and then del y is equal to del m by del y. Okay. And if you take partial derivative of this with respect to x, so what do you get? Del to f by del y del x is equal to del n by del x, right? And I just told you for any function, if f exists, sorry, if derivative exists and f is continuous, then right hand, sorry, left hand side of these two equations are going to be equal and del m by del y partial m is equal to partial m of, uh, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to del n by del x, all right? So this is basically the definition of exact differential equation or exact equation. Exact, okay? So follow these steps, follow me here that you have been given this equation. So first thing what you will do is, so this is let's say given. So first step to find the uh, solution is, check whether it is exact. Check it is exact or not. Say this condition is satisfied and your given equation is exact equation, right? Then remember this, what we taught, what we did is del m by del y is equal to del n by del x, right? Okay. Now you found that it is exact. If it is exact, there would be a solution of what form fxy equal to c, right? If that solution exists, so you compare your original equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. You compare this. So this was the first step. Second step is you compare this with this equation, del f by del x dx plus, you already compared it by the way. Uh, okay, no, that I explained in between uh, so that you understand how the definition of exact differential equation came, right? So you compare this equation to this, okay? So far, you have found this, what you have found that given differential equation is exact. If that is exact, there will be a solution. And if that solution exists, then you can write this equation, right? And now you are comparing these two, right? What you got, del f by del x is equal to m and del f by del y is equal to n, all right? Now, basically you integrate this, integrate, you integrate with respect to, sorry, with respect to x. So what you will get, f is equal to m dx, right? m dx plus some constant, which is going to be a function of y only, okay? Now, you understand this, if you take a partial derivative of this equation with respect to y, right? What you will get? So del by del y, m dx plus gy. I made a mistake. Here, this is going to be integration, right? And this partial derivative of f with respect to y is going to be equal to n, right? Is equal to 
n from here what you are trying to find you do not know gy right so from here you will find gy and you will put gy into this equation and as you can see you will have then what function of x and y and that function of x and y will be a solution to your given differential equation which you proved that it was a exact differential equation all right now we are going to take an example and apply these methods so that you understand and you can check whether you understood it or not. So example is going to be, I'm going to take a very simple example so that you understand. e to the power y dx plus x e to the power y plus 2y dy. By the way, for finding solution to the exact differential equation, we do not have any formula, so to say, okay? What we have is these methodology. So remember these methodology, these steps. Remember these steps, there is no formula. So once you remember those steps, you will find the solution, okay? So as you can see, it is written like what? M dx plus N dy is equal to zero, right? Now, first step is to check the exactness. Check whether it is an exact, differential equation or no so how can we check del m by del y should be equal to del n by x all right so put the value of m m is what e to the power y del by del y e to the power y this is what e to the power y and here del n by del y del n by del x you are going to differentiate take partial derivative of x e to the power y plus 2y. So this goes away. And here only e to the power y is left. So these two are equal, right? If they are equal, that means the given differential equation is exact. And if they it is exact, how will you find? You will compare your given equation with what? You will compare your given equation with Okay, if it is exact exact equation, then there would exist some function. What would that function be? F of x, y equal to c. Okay, if that function exists, then you can write a total derivative the way I taught you earlier. Plus del f by del y dy is equal to zero, right? And now you will compare your given equation. What was the given equation? This, okay, with this equation. Right, and when you do what you will have del f by partial del x is equal to nothing but m, m was what e to the power y, and del f by del y is equal to n, and n was what x e to the power y plus 2y. Let me check if it is right, that is what is given, right? Yeah, now what you will do, you will dare uh, take integrate one and then use the other to find the constant. I repeat, you will integrate the one equation, use the other to find the constant. So you will integrate this equation with respect to x. What will you get? f equal to e to the power y into dx plus some constant of y, okay? Why this? Because you have taken partial derivative with respect to x only, okay? So, where did it go? Okay. F is equal to x e to the power y plus g y. Okay. Now, another equation is this one. Partial derivative of f with respect to y. So, take partial derivative of x, partial derivative of f with respect to y, and both value will be equal, right? Plus g dash y. And this is equal to what? x e to the power y plus 2y. This goes away. And you have, now you're trying to find the constant, right? And you have g dash y is equal to 2y. So g y is equal to what? 2, you'll have to integrate by the way, right? g y and uh, if you'll integrate this equation with respect to y, basically what you will do is g y 2y dy. See, you can integrate and put integration constant, that is fine. 
but here I'm just going to do two into y square by two. So g y is y square. Okay. I'm going to stick to the method that I just explained here. Then you have what f is equal to this one. This is what you have to find f. Once f you once you have f x e to the power y plus g y is y square. But I told you f is not the solution. But f is equal to c. Either you do like this, you understand it like this, or you can just add one constant here, take it on the other side, and yeah, that that is fine as well. So I'm just trying to uh, make you understand the equation of the form f of x y comma is equal to c. So you have the solution to the differential equation. Okay. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do subscribe to the channel and. Thank you.